Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves 2023. Before incarceration, the bard Edgen Darvis, Chris Pine, had dedicated himself to the Harpers, a group of peacekeepers sworn to protect the oppressed and combat tyranny. However, his commitment waned after his wife Zia, Georgia Landers, fell victim to followers of a red wizard he had previously apprehended. Zia's tragic death led Edgen to forsake his oath, descending into heavy drinking until he encountered Halga. Halga, an outcast from rock bottom shunned by her tribe for loving an outsider, took compassion on Edgen, welcoming him and his daughter Kira into her life. Viewing Edgen as a brother, Halga and Edgen resorted to theft to sustain themselves, shaping Kira's upbringing in this challenging environment. Joined by the barbarian Halga Kilgore, Michelle Rodriguez, Edgen endeavored to forge a new existence for himself and his daughter Kira, Chloe Coleman, through a life of thievery. Their alliance expanded to include the amateur sorcerer Simon Almer, Justice Smith, a half-elf with wild magic abilities and the descendant of the renowned wizard Elminster Almer. They also teamed up with the rogue con artist Forge Fitzwilliam, Hugh Grant, and Forge's enigmatic associate Safina, Daisyhead. During a raid on a Harper stronghold, Edgen aimed to pilfer a tablet of reawakening to resurrect his deceased wife. However, he and Halga found themselves captured while their companions managed to escape. Simon struggled against Safina's overpowering magic, prompting Edgen to entrust the tablet to forge and implore him to safeguard Kira. After two years' imprisonment in Arctic Revel's End, the pair, unaware they have been pardoned, escape to Neverwinter and learn Forge has become lord there after its prior lord fell mysteriously incapacitated. Forge has been taking care of Kira, convincing her that Edgen's selfish greed led to his arrest. It is revealed that Safina is a red wizard and together they orchestrated Edgen and Halga's capture. Forge had told Kira that Edgen was after the Tablet of Riches, but Edgen clarifies that it was the Tablet of Reawakening. Forge refuses to hand over the Tablet to Edgen. Kira does not believe Edgen. Safina attempts to execute Edgen and Halga, but they escape and decide to rob Forge's vault and bring Kira home during the upcoming High Sun Games, needing the Tablet to prove their innocence to Kira and resurrect Edgen's wife. Forge tells Kira that he gave the Tablet of Riches to Edgen and he left. The gladiatorial games had been banned, but Forge reinstituted them, promising that the games would bring tourists and money. Edgen and Halga track down Simon to help. He suggests also recruiting Doric, Sophia Lillis, a tiefling druid raised in the Neverwinter Wood by a wood elf enclave, a druid whose forest community is fighting forced logging ordered by Forge. Doric agrees to help Edgen as there is no one else willing to stand up to Forge. She shifted into a fly, Doric infiltrates Forge's castle. Finding the vault has magical defenses from Morden Canaan, which Simon cannot disable. Simon believes a magic relic, the Helm of Disjunction, could disable them. It's a helmet that disables all nearby enchantments. The helm went missing ages ago. They travel to an old graveyard to ask Halga's ancestors where to find it. Simon resurrects the dead with a talisman long enough for them to answer five questions each. The corpses reveal they gave the helm to Zinkianar, reads Jean Page, a paladin who narrowly escaped Zas Tam's rise to power, and Thay, and as a result, ages more slowly than a normal human, a paladin who fled his country, Thay, when Zas Tam, Ian Hanmore. A powerful red wizard and the ruler of Thay turn Thians into an undead army. Not being asked enough questions, one corpse is left alive. Zank agrees to help the group when he realizes that Forge has made an alliance with the red wizard. He suspects that Tam is up to something. Currently, Tam's powers do not extend beyond Thay, and that is what he wants to change. After forcing Edgen to swear to distribute any gained bounty to the people, Zank guides the group through the Underdark to retrieve the helm. With the help of a teleportation staff obtained from Halga's halfling ex-husband, they find the relic but are attacked by the inn assassin sent by Safina. Zank fights off the assassins and helps the group escape from the obese red dragon Thimberchad before departing. Simon has trouble mastering the helm's power as the helm refuses to allow Simon to wield its power. Simon blames Edgen as he says that he told Edgen that this plan is not going to work. The group loses their morale, and everyone wants to quit. Edgen narrates that he stole Red Wizard's treasure and didn't know that they marked it. He led the Red Wizard's ride to his own doorstep, and his family paid the price for it. Edgen says that he cannot quit. They decide to use the staff to enter the vault during the games. But the portal opens into a stone wall and Doric tries to dig a hole into the wall to get through as a worm. Edgen decides to enter the vault through the front door and attacks the castle with Halga and Simon. Simon gets to the door of the vault and successfully attunes with the helmet to open the magically sealed door. 
Simon and Holga infiltrate the magically sealed door, but find the room empty except for a magical trap. Doric infiltrates the location where the treasure is stored, and it is under the arena. Safina, disguised as Kira, subdues Edgen. The group is captured and forced to participate in the games but manages to escape the stadium. Doric discovers Forge has loaded the treasure onto a boat and is preparing to flee. The group cannot figure out what Safina gets out of the deal, if Forge is escaping with all the loot. The group steals the boat for themselves and rescues Kira from Forge, who threatened Kira's life. As they escape, the group realize Safina organized the games to draw a massive crowd and turn them into an undead army using the same curse that destroyed Thay. The group returns, transporting Forge's stolen riches out of the boat with the teleportation staff and spreading them across the city by hot air balloon, drawing people out of the stadium before Safina's spell takes effect. Enraged at her defeat, Safina attacks the group, but Simon manages to master his magic and nullify Safina's time-stop spell, allowing Kira to use an invisibility pendant engine and Holga gave her as a child to place an anti-magic bracelet on Safina. Safina is killed when attacked by Doric in Albert form and then crushed by falling debris, but Holga is fatally injured. Edgen uses the tablet to bring her back to life, accepting that he wanted to bring back his wife only for his own sake while Holga had become a true part of their family. Doric signals openness to a relationship with Simon. Restored, the old Lord of Neverwinter declares the team heroes of the realm. Zank sends Forge to Revel's End where he spectacularly fails to escape as Edgen and Holga did when his pardon was denied.